as, uh, as mentioned last week, I'm coming at you from uh, Miami here at uh, Wadapalooza. Such a great competition, great event, um, great weekend. Um, you know, I'm sitting here Sunday. We have um, just about half of a day left here, and then, then I'll be heading back home. But, uh, you know, I've been here since uh, Wednesday night, and uh, just uh, everyone here is just uh, so very accommodating. The competition is so big, but running uh, so smoothly. So it's been uh, really awesome to see. Uh, really awesome to be here. Tried to find a quiet enough spot to kind of get in front of the, the phone here and, and talk to you guys, but uh, there was no way to do that. So uh, as you can see, I'm here uh, in my hotel room. So um, we are now at week seven of 14 for the master's program. So after this week, we'll be reaching that, uh, that halfway mark. Um, same general setup as the, as the last couple weeks, just uh, um, kind of adjusting uh, some of the exercises just a little bit. Um, one of them that comes to mind immediately is uh, uh, the snatch, different snatch complexes you've been doing on Mondays or your day one. Uh, we're gonna actually go back to uh, hip or high hang power snatch, uh, that exercise that we started off with and did that for a good couple of weeks. Uh, so as we progressed into something more towards a regular snatch, we're gonna take a week and go all the way back and then uh, kind of pick up where we left off. I did add an overhead squat to the end of that, so make sure you look at uh, that description. Uh, we need a, a three, uh, three power snatches and then one overhead squat. Um, make sure you remember the five second pause in the bottom of that overhead squat, all right? Um, back squats on uh, day one along with the uh, power snatches and overhead squat. Now you will be doing the back squats first. I wanna do that just to help you um, warm up that bottom position a little bit more and help kind of prep you for that overhead squat that you're going to be doing at the end of those hip power snatches. Um, but uh, just playing with numbers a little bit on those back squats, again, read the instructions, make sure you know where and when you need to pause and how long uh, and all that good stuff and we'll, we will be uh, good to go there. On Wednesday or your day two, we've been doing clean deadlifts for a long time, a, a lot of weeks now. And you're going to do those one more time. We're going to um, uh, add clean lift off to that. So you're going to be doing clean lift off plus clean deadlift. So just messing with your uh, with your movement, your position just a little bit for the last week, basically of the clean deadlift focus. So you know you've worked up through the weeks, and uh, hopefully you've maintained and stayed at those percentages. Uh, now that percentage that that is indicated is is heavier than it's been uh, through the whole time, and so. Um, you know, get through this week and, and hopefully you felt some benefit in changes from that. All right. Uh, last couple weeks we've been, we've been doing behind the neck power jerk. I know that's a very tough movement for a lot of athletes. And so hopefully the combination of mobility uh, and that kind of thing that we've had, not only on those specific days, but through uh, the last six weeks of the program on different days and everything else have helped you with those. Um, but now we're going to transition that into a behind the neck split jerk. So you'll be doing some split position holds between sets just to make sure you know where to go. Uh, so when you're holding, uh, pay very close attention to the video and the details and the teachings on that because we want you holding in a good position. And uh, you know, there's no sense in doing the hold, uh, the split position hold. Um, and when you're doing that, you're just using your body weight. You're not using the bar or anything, but just getting your body familiar with that split that we want, you know, slight bend of the back knee, you're on that back toe, front shin is vertical or slightly angled back, um, as indicated in the video. But, you know, it's better if, that you don't hold that position if it's not what we want it to be or heading towards what we want it to be. So take a picture, a video of yourself and make sure that it lines up with the, uh, what you see in the, in the demo video and, and that kind of thing. Front squats been building up through the, the last three or four weeks. You are now gonna be at sets of five. I know sets of five at um, you know that percentage, eighty percent for front squats is tough. It's it's definitely going to be getting tough, but you guys are capable of finishing this out and making it through. Uh, so fight through this week, and then you'll have one more week of raising it up again for sets of six, and then we'll move on to something else. All right. So uh, short and sweet uh, this week, guys. Once again, and uh, so that's all I have for you this week. Uh, man, I'm looking forward to heading back home and. Uh, uh, I'll be doing that later today. So I uh, should be coming at you guys next week from the Kilo Cave once again. And uh, I'll see you then.